sentence that at the beginning of the program today. Uh, he got up well, but he only got a draw, which means he didn't win the European title. But as I say, he is the British champion. And it's that title he's putting on the line now against fellow Londoner Keith Bristol. And at ringside in London, Harry Carpenter. The champion, Dennis Andrews, wearing the black trunks with the red stripe, making his third defence of this British title and back in the ring for the first time since December when he narrowly failed to win the European title from Alex Blanchard of Holland. He got a draw on that one. The challenger tonight with the star on his red trunks is Keith Bristol from Battersea. And an interesting point about this fight is that both these men were born in Guyana. Andres in black, now 32 years old. Bristol is 28. They've met twice before, and Andres has won on both occasions. On the green waistband of his trunks, the words, the Iceman. That's Bristol. Keith Bristol from Battersea, Andres from Hackney. Two London men now, boxing here at the Longford Crest Hotel on the borders of London Airport. Andrews tonight knows that he must win here if he's to retain his credibility as an international challenger. He's hoping for a rematch very shortly with Alex Blanchard, the European champion. He came very close to beating Blanchard in December in London. He got a draw. I thought perhaps that was just a shade against him. He was a little bit unlucky, I thought, not to get the verdict. comes into this fight knowing that the last time these two met he knocked out Bristol in four rounds the champion more thick set than the challenger and he's conceding an inch or two in height and a bit in reach Harry Gibbs, the most famous referee in Britain. Dennis Andrews, a man who's come, come really into prominence in the last couple of years. He's had a wonderful couple of years, which uh, ended with him going for the European title just a couple of months ago and coming very close to winning. He's now had 33 pro fights, 25 wins, 16 inside the distance, two draws and 60 feet, but only stopped once. Dennis Andres, the British champion. Second round, round two. These two met for the first time in 1982, and Andres won on points. They met again in September 1983, and this time Andres KO'd his man in four. He also had Bristol down a couple of times in the first meeting. Well, he knocked him out with the right to the jaw. So uh, that's the punch Andres will be trying to uh, get home again. Just a quarter of a pound between them at the weigh-in today. Andres, 12, six and three quarters. Bristol absolutely on the limit at 12-7. Bristol 
Bristol knows full well that this is his last chance of taking the British title. Been around a long time, waiting for this chance to have a shot at it. He may never get another one. Bristol moving in and firing the right and then retreating. And at the moment, he's setting Andrews one or two problems. using his reach Bristol with the star on the leg of his trunks that's the right hand that Andrews is looking for and he's quick to move in there Bristol was very nearly caught cold with that Andrews already breathing hard. <laughs> Bristol threatening to take the play away from Andrews here. Bristol goes loping back to his corner. He had some useful moments in that round. But there was one moment when Andrews came tearing across the ring, firing a right hand. We can show you that again. Here he comes. Oh, that was a very wicked looking right hand and Bristol did well to scurry away out of trouble. Second down. British 12 stone 7 title at stake here this is the title that John Conti once held Chris Finnegan held it Randolph Turpin of course and a man who's actually here somewhere at ringside tonight Alex Buxton who held it uh, all some what 20 or 30 years ago managed by Greg Steen one of the co-promoters of this show tonight Greg Steen and Harry Holland who've been running a series of very successful shows in London over the last couple of years and back at the Longford Crest tonight Andrews moving in again making these spasmodic attacks but when he does he looks very dangerous and Bristol now has a frown on his face Andrew's going all out now, firing the right hand, hoping that he's going to get another knockout with it. And Bristol making himself as awkward as he can, and not slow to come back into the attack turned his man quite neatly on the ropes the signs are showing here that this could be quite a hard defense for Dennis Andrews he brought himself to such a peak for that European title you wonder perhaps whether it's been hard to summon up the, uh, the ambition again to defend this one so soon afterwards Good right from this
bit of a more. Harry Gibbs going to have a, a kindly word with them. Harry Gibbs, the best known and finest referee this country's had in many years, and now unhappily very close to retirement next month. So three rounds completed, and they haven't been three terribly happy rounds for 32-year-old Andrews. He hasn't lost a fight now since March 1982. He's won 11 and drawn one, the one with Blanchard, in December. So 12 fights unbeaten in a row. And now we can show Alex Buxton. There he is, who used to fight out of Watford, one of the great family of fighting Buxton brothers, who was a former British light heavyweight title. We're now watching his old title being disputed here tonight. Andrews has got uh, a little bit of work to do here just to impose himself on this fight a bit more. Keith Bristol from Battersea, born in Guyana, like Andrews. Made quite a useful start to this. Using his longer reach and agile footwork to pose a few problems. Getting one or two good punches home for the head of Andres. Andres has got to find something here to stop Bristol dictating this at long range. Andrews knocked his man out the last time they met. Taking his chances when they come. He's not a great puncher. Just as well for Andres. absolutely desperate to get the right hand it looks all over the shop anything but uh, concise in his work and he's floundering a bit here so far not one of Andrew's best fights but there's a long way to go it's a 12 rounder he's certainly getting messed about by Bristol and that wasn't exactly a look of affection that passed between them as they separated. Dennis Andrews, born in Guyana, came to this country when he was 10 years old. Very late starter in boxing. He uh, didn't take it up, even as an amateur, until he was 21 years old. That was 11 years ago. And all his success has come late in his career. Crystal's been a pro since uh, 1980, 30 fights, but uh, he's had long periods out of the ring, he's had a succession of uh, injuries, he had a broken jaw once, he's had hand injuries, and uh, these have combined to keep him out of the ring for quite a considerable amount of his career.
Bristol was only four years old when he came to this country from Guyana. So he arrived here about two years before Andrews did. And Harry Gibbs hold, telling him about holding. He had a quiet word with him in the last interval about that. So Bristol could run into trouble with Mr Gibbs here if he's not careful. Harry doesn't like his instructions being disobeyed very much. And there was the threatening right hand of Andrews again. Looks to be as though he's relying almost solely on getting that across. such a strong man Andrews he could stay there all night he's the sort of fighter that would have loved the old days of 20 round fights and uh, he may well wear Bristol down eventually Bristol a little bit open mouth now as though he's beginning to find the pace a bit hard and he's running inside to clinch quite often now Harry Gibbs having another word with him about it. <laughs> Bristol now finishing this round quite strongly. somewhat mauling fight for this British light heavyweight title but Bristol can be reasonably pleased with the way he's come through the opening five rounds another look at this uh, right of Andrews that's the one that's the one he's pinning all his faith on in this fight and he's been very close to really catching Bristol with that it may well happen yet once again, the referee, Harry Gibbs, has had a little chat in the Bristol corner about the holding. Bristol on the left in the red trunks with the star. Is that the star of Guyana, I wonder? I don't really know, to be honest. Now I come to think of it, it might be the Star of David, because uh, in fact Bristol is of the Jewish creed. I just remember. There's the right again from Andrews, and Bristol's over. He hung on to try to stay upright because he was hurt, and when Andrews got rid of him, he had to go to the floor. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, he's only just beaten the count. He was up at nine, but only just. Round six, and this looks as though it might be the end. Andrews finally got him with the right hand. Oh, great swinging punches from Andrews. And Andrews is led away, and he does a somersault in the ring. Andrews, he keeps his title. And poor Keith Bristol slumps onto his stool, absolutely out absolutely out and that i'm afraid is bristol's last chance of winning the british light heavyweight title i don't think we should see him challenging for it again and that's his third defeat against andres who didn't look at his best
tonight, but finally he found the punch to put the man away. And it all came to an end in round six. Let's see how it happened. Here we go, the first knockdown. Oh, what a punch that was. And he was gone, you know. If he hadn't held on, he would have gone down earlier. And this is the way it finished. Bristol was gone. He only just beat the count. He was in all sorts of trouble here. And these, watch that right hand. That's, <laughs> that's like a fast bowler's punch. Extraordinary right hand. And that was the point at which Harry Gibbs pulled Andrews off. And Bristol could do nothing except slump in the corner. So, Dennis Andrews remains the British light heavyweight champion and will shortly be hoping to fight for the European title once again. Harry Carpenter there. I've heard since then, incidentally, that Andrews is perhaps more likely to fight for the world title. One of the versions, which uh, was held by Michael Spinks, who you'll know is now one of the heavyweight uh, champions, has just been regained uh, by a man called Marvin Johnson, who's something of a veteran. I saw him in Belgrade some years ago fight there. Uh, that's him with his back to you now. And this is him uh, winning, as you'll see shortly, a world title fight back in 1979. He takes a bit of stick, but he landed one there. And that's Victor Galindez uh, on the floor there. And that was Marvin Johnson winning back in 1979. He's just regained the WBA version of the light heavyweight title. As you see, he seemed to be a bit of a veteran then. He certainly won now. But uh, they're trying to fix up a fight between him and Dennis Andres.